In this video, I would like to show you how to use the store and recall function to perform complex calculations where there are multiple variables and of course there are multiple operations required. So I'm applying the store and recall function to this calculation on the two asset portfolio variants and standard deviation. So I have here all the assumptions on the weights and the standard deviation and the correlation between the returns of asset 1 and 2. Both all, of course, the weights and standard deviations of the returns are in percentage. Then we have the formula for the portfolio variance. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to do now, of course, here we have the, the solution is already there. Okay, I mean, uh, I've converted everything from percentage to decimal when I do my computations. You may have your own preference of doing it. But I'm, my objective here is to show you how using the store and recall function can speed up the calculation and also minimize error. So in your calculator, what you can, what you will first do is I will type okay the first term, so which is a zero point seven square from the weight times zero point one eight square. So I can do something like zero point seven the weight times the standard deviation, okay, and then once I get the product, I will square it. So that gives me the first term. I will now use a store function. I'll press store one. So that saves the number into the first button. Okay, button number one. You can of course save it to other buttons from ranging from button zero to button nine. Okay, but I prefer to do it in a sequential manner. Now the next one that I'll go to is the second one, which is uh, 0 0.3 times uh, 0 0.11. Okay, and then square that. So I'll get 0 0.001089. I will now store this into button 2. So I'll press store 2. Okay, and then the last term, I'll take the take 2 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.3 times uh, 0 0.65 times 0 0.18 times 0 0.11. So when we take the correlation times the standard deviation of asset 1 and 2, that gives us the covariance okay, between asset 1 and 2. So that gives us uh, 0 0.0054054. Okay, and then I'll save this into button 3. So I'll press store 3. And then we are done. So the final thing that we need to do here before we get the variance is to sum up the three numbers that we have saved. So I'll to, to recall it out, I'll press RCL. So I'll press RCL1. That recalls the first number plus recall 2 that recalls the second number plus recall 3 okay, which calls the third number and then we sum it up so that's equals to 0 0.0223704 this is the portfolio variance if you want to get the standard deviation all you need to do is square root okay take the square root of the variance so that's uh, 0 0.149567 convert that to percentage so that's 14.9567%. Uh, now, of course, uh, for those who are very uh, quite used to the calculator, you can, of course, choose not to use the store and recall function. You can type it all in one shot, in one line to get the variance. Okay, but of course, that increases the chances of making an error. So using the store and recall function helps you to break down the computation into parts, okay, and then com combining it at the end by using the recall function.